Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Are you ready for more school lunch inspiration? Stay tuned. Okay friends, now in the last two weeks of Bunches of Lunches, I shared lots of colorful lunch ideas and they were so fun to make. Now on this week's episode, I'm gonna share some really fun but easy lunches to make. Easy enough that anybody could make them. But they're still gonna be really fun and festive. And now on to the weekly shout out. This week it's going to Emma. She left me the sweetest comment. She said, yay, more colorful bunches of lunches. This is my favorite time of the week. I really love and appreciate all of your kind comments on these videos, so keep them coming. And finally, if you're not already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunch ideas. Now let's get started. Hi guys, and happy Monday. And what is Monday? pb and J day. That's right, but instead of using regular bread, today I actually used some gluten-free waffles that I got from Trader Joe's. So today's lunch is entirely gluten-free. To make these really fun PB&Js, I just went ahead and toasted the waffle, then I added peanut butter to one side and jam to the next, and cut them up. And to keep the waffle together, I added a cute little pick. Over in this corner, I have some sugar snap peas, and on this side, I have some blueberries. I'm also sending the kids today with one little string cheese and some ranch for the sugar snap peas. I feel like it's been forever since we use these containers. So, there's some ranch in there. Now, of course, since we're having PB and J today, I am gonna send the kids with a little bit of milk. I just think that milk goes so well with PB and J, right? Mm -hmm. But I only gave them half a milk because this whole thing is a little bit too much for them. And then I'm also sending one more snack today. I'm using our snack bags. Again, I feel like I haven't used these in a long time. But basically, I just have some veggie sticks in here. These are from Trader Joe's. They're tasty and crunchy and good. So they all have the same thing. I just put a little bit less in the lilies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on here. I do wanna put an ice pack in there today so that the milk doesn't go bad. And I am gonna go ahead and uh, pack their water bottles as well. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, it is about four o'clock now and it's time to check the lunches. Right now I've got Mackenzie and Lily with me. Say hi guys. Hi. So what did you think about the lunch today? It was really good. Was it fun to have the PB&J on a waffle? Yeah, that was my favorite part actually. And did you know the whole lunch was gluten free? No. It was, so even daddy could eat it. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and check Mackenzie's first. She ate all of her, what are they called? Veggie straws? Yes. yes. And let's see in here, you ate everything else. Yeah. Good job. And you drank your milk. But what happened to your milk? It got dumped on some of the it, ground. Some of it spilled, so she didn't technically drink it all, but oh well. No use crying over spilled milk, right? That's what they say. Okay, let's check, Jack let's check Jackson's. He ate all of his veggie straws. And he ate everything except for his string cheese. So that's actually pretty good. And his milk. Lily drank all of her milk. Good job, Lily. You ate all of your veggie straws, and you ate all of your sandwiches, or did you share them? Uh, nope, I didn't share them. You didn't share them, you ate all of them? Yeah. Ooh, is that your favorite way to have PB&J? Yeah, I like everything. Good job. And we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today I have Jackson and Lily helping me say hi. Hi. Today's lunch has to be completely nut-free, but I am going with a Japanese theme today. I started off by heating up some yakisoba, and yakisoba is basically, well, this version of yakisoba is just noodles in a yummy sauce with vegetables, and I get this frozen from Costco, and I just heat it up. There's lots of veggies in there, and the kids actually really like it, so that's what's in the thermos today. Now, to go along with that, I also am serving some little edamame pods, so the kids have to break open the pods to get the little bean inside. These are lightly salted, so they're nice and tasty. And then over here, I'm also giving the kids a cute little fruit skewer with grapes and blueberries. Over here, I'm sending a little Go-Gurt Simple. I think these ones are strawberry flavored. And today, I have a special treat. Jackson, do you see what it is? No. <gasps> Bucky! It's 
Pocky. So instead of a cookie or a sweet treat, I'm gonna send them with Pocky, which is basically a little biscuit with chocolate. Definitely one of my favorite Japanese style snacks. So I'm gonna stick that in there. And then for the older two kids, I'm gonna go ahead and put their little chopsticks in there if they wanna try that. And for Lily, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a regular fork so it's a little bit easier for her. So that's everything in the lunches today. I don't think I, no, I probably will put an ice pack in there because of the yogurt. And the kids will just be taking their regular water bottles, which are the Contigo cups, just like that. And of course, when we get back, I will show you what they ate. We're back home now. And lunch was delicious today. Yeah, I can tell that these guys really liked it. I have Mackenzie with me. I have Lily with me. Oh, and there's Jack. Jack, are you coming? Hi, guys. So everyone liked the lunch today, right? Yeah. I see that Mackenzie ate everything. She is using a different lunch box today, but this is Phil Mackenzie's. Let's check in here. Oh, she ate everything. There's a few little pieces down in there. But that might be kind of hard to get with the chopsticks, huh? Mm -hmm. But you liked your grapes mm -hmm. and your blueberries and you ate all of your edamames and you threw away the skins. Good job. Or did you eat them? I threw away the skins. You threw them away. I see that the other kids left their skins, but the beans are all gone. Jackson ate all of his. And, oh, Lily. There's a few bites left in there, but you liked it, right? I wasn't that hungry. But it, was, but it tasted good? Yeah. Lily, what was your favorite part today? Hmm. Uh, my favorite part is... The noodles? Mm -hmm. What about you, Kenzie? What was your favorite part? I liked the kebabs with, I liked the fruit sticks. What about the Pocky? Did you forget about the Pocky? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> that would have been my favorite part. I love Pocky. Me too. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. And happy Wednesday. So I just finished making the kids lunch and it's definitely looking different. This is not necessarily a combination that I do very often or that I've ever done before, but I think it's a good change. And today's lunch is actually gluten-free as well. I started off by making some chicken nuggets. These are the gluten-free ones from Trader Joe's. I have some veggie sticks. These are also from Trader Joe's. These are really crispy and really tasty. Now in the bowls today, I have a medley of carrots. I got a big bag of multicolored carrots and I'm trying to use them up. So we have some purple, some orange, and some white carrots with a cute little pick for the kids to use. And of course, to go along with the carrots, I also have some homemade ranch in this little container right here because Lily will only eat carrots if I give her ranch, right? Yeah. You really like them together? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna give the kids a yogurt drink today. This is the Oikos Greek Vanilla Drinkable Yogurt. Does it look good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everything is ready to go. Here you go, Mackenzie. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Once it's over now, and, and here's what we ate. <laughs> Good job, girls. I have Lily here with me, and I have Mackenzie, and it looks like they did a pretty good job. Now, I have to say, I did give them quite a few carrots today, so I'm not surprised that they left a few, especially the purple ones and the white ones. Those are definitely not as popular as the orange carrots. But Mackenzie and Jackson ate pretty much everything else. Lily left one little chicken nugget, just like that, and some of her veggie straws. But she did drink all of her yogurt. I was just too full. You were too full? Well, maybe next time I just give you one chicken nugget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was your favorite part? I really liked the yogurt drink. It came with four, and I had one of them, and they were really tasty. And we'll see you on Thursday. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. Now, Thursdays tend to be a busy day for us. We have school, and then the kids have gymnastics after so I'd like to pack the kids a little bit more because I think they're going to need it on Thursdays. Right now I've got Jackson and Mackenzie and Lily all helping me. Hi. 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 Does it look good today? Yeah. I made it look as fun as I could. So in the thermoses I actually have some cheese tortellonis from Costco and just as a side note you guys today's lunch is actually meat free. There is dairy in this lunch but no meat. Tortelloni is one of my favorite things to throw into lunches because it cooks in about three minutes. It is so fast. Now normally I would put pesto on these, but today we're gonna try this Bertoli organic Alfredo sauce. What's Alfredo sauce? Alfredo sauce is kind of like a cheese sauce with a little bit of garlic in it. It's really good. Ooh. Like fancy mac and cheese. Yeah, that sounds good. 
we have those in the thermoses so they can stay nice and hot. Now to go along with our pasta today, I have a bunch of little items in our sandwich container. I find these at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes they're in the dollar section of Target, but they're meant for sandwiches. But I actually like to divide it up with my silicone um, muffin cups and I can put all different kinds of things in here. In this back corner, I have some broccoli and I've made that really fun by adding some little monster eyes. Over here I have just a few cherry tomatoes with a fun little pick for the kids to pick them up. And of course right over here I have our ranch. My kids really enjoy ranch with their tomatoes and their broccoli. Now next to all of the vegetables I do have two little treats. The plan is if they eat all of their vegetables then they can have these two little Hershey Kisses left over from Valentine's Day. Back over here, you would think I have goldfish crackers, but actually I have the Trader Joe's version, which are very similar, but they're in the shape of a rocket ship instead. So there's just a few crackers in there. And lastly, I am giving the kids some apple juice today. I'm remembering to pack their fork right in there. And I don't think I need an ice pack today, because there's no meat. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, time to check the lunch boxes. We've got Mackenzie's, Jackson's, and Lily's. Right now I've got Mackenzie here helping me, and I've got Lily too. Lily, come here. Let's go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. What do you think, Mackenzie? It was so good. <clears throat> she ate all of her noodles, or they weren't noodles, they were tortellinis. Tortellonis, yes. And everything else is gone. Very good. You're welcome. You eat all your crackers? Yep. yep. Everything is gone. High five. Okay, let's check Jackson's. Uh, all of his pasta is gone. Let's see, he ate his tomatoes and his Hershey Kisses, but he didn't touch his broccoli. But that broccoli is a little, a little bit on the older side, so I kind of don't blame him. Then, let's see, crackers are gone. Let's check Lily's. How'd it go, Lily? Good. Let's see, you ate all your crackers? And... Pretty good. She left one tomato and one little nub of broccoli. But what happened? <laughs> I was full. But did you try it? Mm, I just one taste. Just one? Yeah. Did you like it or did you not like it? I liked it. You were just full. Yeah, I was just I was full. And we'll see you on Friday. Hi guys and happy Friday. Good job, girls. Right now I have Mackenzie and Lily helping me say hi. Hi. Are you excited for Friday? Yeah. We're gonna have such a fun weekend. But before that happens, we gotta have our lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So today I actually made something that I don't think I've made in a long time, and that is chicken salad. I started by using some leftover rotisserie chicken from our dinner the night before. And to this I just added some finely chopped celery, some grated onion, the juice of one lemon, I added mayonnaise and salt and pepper. Just your basic chicken salad. If I had grapes, I would definitely add grapes, but we're all out. So I went ahead and put the chicken salad in its own separate container. That way the kids can either eat it separate or they can put it on their Hawaiian bread roll. Now these Hawaiian rolls I got at Trader Joe's and I actually think they're better than the traditional ones. They are really good. So I'll go ahead and just give them the whole roll and if they decide to put the chicken on their sandwich, they can do that or just eat it separately. So I will go ahead and put the lid on here and just keep it separate right in there. Now back over here, I definitely have a treat today. I have two of the Vanilla Joe cookies. These are from Trader Joe's and they are so good. They're way better than Oreos. You like them, Kenzie? Yeah. What about you, Lily? Yeah. They're so good. Over here I have some celery sticks with a cute little pick just to make it fun. And then lastly today I'm also sending the kids with some cinnamon applesauce, also from Trader Joe's. And I think that's gonna be all they need today. It's not gonna be a super long day. I don't really need to send them with snacks and extra food. And they're also going to be taking their water bottles today. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my lids on, get them in their lunch boxes, make sure to add an ice pack, 
Oh yes, and a spoon. I definitely want to give them a spoon so that they can eat their applesauce and they can put their chicken on their sandwich if that's what they want to do. And then, of course, when we get back, I will show you what they ate. I will see you when we get back. Okay guys, it is much later. It's almost bedtime and we're just now getting around to checking the lunches. Right now I have Mackenzie and Lily with me. Hi. So what did you Hi. think of lunch today? It was so good. Yeah, what was your favorite part? I like the turkey salad. Oh, the chicken it was chicken, <laughs> it was chicken salad. Yeah, but you liked it? Mm -hmm. Oh, she ate it all. And let's see Jackson's. He ate everything except for one piece of celery, so that's not too bad. And let's see Lily's. What do you think, Lily? Okay. Uh-oh. What's this? <laughs> Did you eat any of it? Uh, just a little bit of taste. You just tasted it? Mm -hmm. But doesn't it taste good? I love yeah. it. Yeah, well, that's not the best, but she did eat her applesauce. And let's see, oh, you didn't eat any celery? Yeah, because you didn't give me ranch. Oh, oh well. She's over here smiling at me all innocent like. You're gonna be hungry later if you don't eat your food. Can you do better next time? Yeah. Only if you give me a little bit of food and not anything big. Okay, so less food and more ranch? Yeah, less food and more ranch. That sounds like a good plan, I suppose. And we'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which lunch was your favorite. Also, don't forget to tune in next week because I'm making St. Patrick's Day lunches. They're gonna be super fun and cute. Now, if you'd like to see last week's video, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.